Hey guys, this is Vadim with Max Tech, and welcome to our gaming performance comparison between the brand new OnePlus 9 Pro and of course the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now this isn't just any gaming comparison, I'm actually gonna be comparing the battery life. So I'm gonna start each phone with 100% battery, and then I'm gonna play one full hour to see what we end up with. So in this video, we're gonna be playing three different games, League of Legends, Wild Rift, which I have been waiting for for a long time, then Call of Duty Mobile, and of course, the very tough Genshin Impact. So as you guys can see right here, I've set the iPhone to about 80% brightness and I've matched it on the OnePlus 9. The OnePlus 9 Pro is currently at 100% battery life, so I'm gonna start with this phone first and while I'm playing on the OnePlus, I'm gonna be charging the iPhone up to 100% and then I'm gonna do another hour on this one. Now before we begin, I do wanna mention that the iPhone's chip is about 15% faster in terms of the CPU and over 40% faster in terms of the graphics. However, the OnePlus 9 Pro does have a really nice new cooling system, so we're gonna see if it's gonna be more reliable. The first game we're gonna play is COD Mobile. Here we are in the graphics settings. We have the frame rate set to max, very high graphics quality, ragdoll off, anti-aliasing on. This is very interesting. I'm used to the iPhone, which has the square and flat edges. This feels really nice. I kind of miss the iPhone 11 because it feels really nice in your hand. It kind of wraps around. And I've got to say, I love the hole punch right here in the corner. It's literally so hard to notice. This display looks really, really good. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Oh, I got lucky there. Double kill. Oh, there's a dude here. I know. Oh, come on. Yeah. All right. So far, the performance has been excellent. No drop frames. No issues, but yeah, I've got to say I love this display. Speakers so far really nice. That hole punch, excellent. Sick! Oh, look at that. All right, watch this. Hey. Hey. All right, there you go. MVP, that was fun. That was around 20 minutes playing COD Mobile, but now let's go over to the next game, but you guys are going into the future and we're switching to the iPhone. Let's play some multiplayer and let's do some ranked. Display looks great. The only issue is that notch. Boom, got him. Ah, uh, yeah, the notch is a little bit annoying. Boom. Oh, snipe from the back. Dude, that guy's gotta be up there. Yep, he's on the roof. All right, we're going on the roof, boys. Got him. So far, performance on the iPhone, just as good as the OnePlus. I'd say the notch is the one annoying thing, and the bezels also aren't as thin as the OnePlus. You do get a little bit bigger bezels. Yes! Got the kill cam. Woo! Look at that. Headshot, headshot. Boom! The back of the phone does not feel hot at all. It's barely even warm. Come on! Oh! <laughs> right, that was pretty fun, but I wanna do one more thing. I wanna play Gunfight Sniper. Oh, we're so dead. Oh, this is it. Did you see that? I got him. That was sick. Look at that kill cam, man. Woo! Oh, beautiful. Boom! That was fun. Let's go to the OnePlus. All right, here we are back on the OnePlus 9 Pro. League of Legends Wild Rift right here, the open beta, finally came to North America. So let's go into the settings. And the one thing that I changed was switching to performance 60 FPS mode, and that's it. All right, I'm gonna play some Sona. Got him barely, woo! Well, my jungle had to sacrifice himself for that one, but eh, whatever. Come on, dude, get out of here. <laughs> I actually really like this. I like this mobile version that they made. The map is smaller, so everything goes by really fast. 
Got him. Man, they did a good job on this game. Got he. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, oh, so close. literally just went straight for me. Come on. All right, that was about 20 minutes playing League Wild Rift and the performance was great. 60 FPS the entire time, no issues at all. So really impressed with the OnePlus 9 Pro so far. So let's move on. League of Legos Wild Rift. We're just switching it to 60 FPS, not changing anything else. You know what? Blitzcrank. Oh, we got him! Sick! You're dead! <laughs> really good performance on both of these games so far. Boom! Boom! You got this, bro. You got this. I'll save you. Give me that blue buff. I need blue buff, man. All right, this has been awesome. Good job. Boom! Sick. Watch this. Dude, you're so dead, bro. Yeah, boys. Nice. Oh, you guys are going for the kill, going for the win, let's go. Yeah, they got it. That was fun. Seven kills, one death, not bad for a blitz. All right, Genshin Impact. This right here is gonna be the real test. I'm gonna do everything on high, 60 FPS. Here we go. So far, everything looks great. A little bit of drop frames there. This game looks really good. Getting a couple of weird glitches here for some reason. I'll need Amber for this. Boom! Boom! Flame on, bro! Boom! Oh, snap. Get out of here. So far, so good. Performance. Pretty good at these graphic settings. So I've got to pop these dudes, looks like. Pop. Oh, come on, man. There you go. There you go. Dead, bro. Let's go. Nice. This is a pretty fun game. This is the closest to a real MMORPG you're gonna get on mobile. Now the important thing here is that I haven't really noticed any uh, display dimming yet. Boom! Got it. I'm really surprised because even with this game, the back of the phone does not feel very hot and the performance no issues at all so far, so really liking it. All right guys, so it's been a full hour on the OnePlus 9 Pro, as you can see, 1055, and we are at 77% battery life. All right, Genshin Impact on the iPhone. This is where there's actually gonna be a difference. We're gonna set it to high and 60. All right, so previously we did experience some dimming in this game on the iPhone, so let's see if we get that again. Boom! That's what kills it. Nice and snappy performance. Disappear. Disappear, bro. I am feeling the back of the phone. I want to see if it's going to dim. It is definitely getting hot. I'm not really noticing any differences in terms of, you know, drop frames, performance. 
Oh, the display just dimmed. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I caught it. That's definitely an issue with the iPhone. And to be honest, Apple's gotta fix that. They've gotta add vapor chamber cooling. As we know, the iPad Air has the same A14 chip as these iPhones, and it gets much better graphics performance. And of course, that's because the cooling on this thing is not good. And I am noticing some weird glitches every once in a while. This dude fell off. Whoa! It dimmed like crazy! Look at it! It's so dark! I literally can barely see anything right now. It is so dark. That is bad. That's an issue. You do not want this. Wow, that's dim. All right, guys. And with that, it's been a full hour on the iPhone, just like we did for the OnePlus 9 Pro. We did have that dimming, but let's check out the battery life. 84% battery life. Wow. So the iPhone's doing better. All right, guys, so it's been two full hours of gaming, and now let's move on to the conclusion. In terms of the gaming performance, they were both very, very good until we got to Genshin Impact. The iPhone's display dimmed massively, like super, super bad because it started overheating, and because of that, we started having a pretty crappy game experience because you could barely see the display. And on top of that, I was noticing a little bit of glitches, probably because of the overheating, so the chip is clocking down as well, so that's a major issue for the iPhone. Whereas on the OnePlus 9 Pro, the new large vapor cooling system does a very good job at keeping it cool, and overall, the gaming performance was better on this phone, and those three games, I've gotta say, were very, very fun, and the displays on both of these phones are really good, but I have gotta say that the hole punch on the OnePlus 9 Pro is definitely better for gaming. The bezels are thinner, so I'd say the display experience better on the OnePlus 9 Pro as well. Now, the only other difference was the battery life. The OnePlus 9 Pro was left with 77% of the battery while the iPhone had 84, so it's gonna give you longer hours of gameplay. Unless you're playing Genshin Impact where the gaming experience sucks because it dims, that's a huge problem, but for the other games and probably a lot of other games out there, the iPhone's gonna be just fine. But now to answer the main question, which phone is better for gaming specifically? It's definitely the OnePlus 9 Pro because it's more reliable. You do not get any dimming. So I would definitely choose this phone if I just wanted to game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and click the circle above to subscribe and definitely check out our hands-on comparison between these phones right over there or the unbiased camera comparison. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.